Hello, welcome to another video. Uh, this one is tinged with a bit of sadness. Uh, you may have seen on the Soundbots website a special announcement, but if you haven't, let's go there now. Quickest way of getting there is to go to Open Soundbox itself, go to Options, and click the website link, which takes you directly to the website. But obviously, if you've got that bookmarked, you can go straight there, and you'll see at the top of the screen, please see a special announcement. If we click that, it opens a page with some questions relating to a letter that was sent from the branch which is slowly being released by all the branches around the world so if you haven't had this letter yet you will do at some point which is basically telling us to or recommending that we use the jw library app from now on and this recommendation is quite strongly worded so uh, we're taking this seriously and soundbox will no longer be maintained after the end of next year so you've got two years to make the transition basically it will continue to be maintained and any bugs fixed and also the media will be the media feed will continue to be sorted out for you and the auto populating songs and all that will carry on working until the end of next year but in the meantime we need to start making the transition between soundbox and the jw library so let's come out of that And now, as you know, you all know what Soundbox can do. It can play the music videos or just the music. It can record the meeting. It can copy those recorded meetings to a different device. It can time the meeting, either just time it or actually send it to a, a display. And it can play any media you wish and send that to any display using a calendar system that you can get ready beforehand. It also offers you um, a Bible text image creator so to make your own Bible images which I was going to make another video on and if you do want one, me to make a video on it then please let me know so it can do that and many other things so we all know what Soundbox can do it's brilliant but you may not have realized if your computer is running Windows 10 that there is an app an official app very similar to the one that is used on Android tablets and phones, the JW Library app, which I have installed here. But if you don't have it installed, you need to go to the Windows Store, so this one, and search for JW Library. And you'll see a few things come up. The only official ones on this list here, for instance, are this one and that one. All these others are third party applications written by whoever. So be very careful of using any of these. They may be fine, but they weren't, they aren't official. But this is the JW library app. And if you don't have it, it'll give you the link, the button there to install. I've got it installed, so it just gives me the option to launch it. So let's do that and close there. And the JW Library app has the ability to play any of the videos that are released on it and also the songs. Now you can go to the uh, various songs and videos manually, but it also has got, like the Android version, it's got a meeting section which displays the midweek or weekend meeting accordingly, depending on the day of the week and the date. But at the top of the screen, it's got this button here, which is media for this particular meeting. You've got a similar button on Android as well. If I click that, you'll see for this midweek meeting this week, there are the three songs that we're singing and there's the video of the Russian trial. To play those videos it has the feature in settings to play it on the second display because obviously it's no good just playing it on the sound desk and as you can see on my camera feed the second display is this one and the third display is over here and that is still continued to be used by soundbox as you can see in the time screen target display display three and there's the timer so when in JW Library you have that feature turned on, 
you can go to the meeting section and play a song or a video and it will play on your second screen. If we go back to my camera feed, you'll see it playing the song file. But also, it plays in the app itself, so the sound desk operator can see it as well. Actually, that's quite handy because when you're doing, when you're on the sound desk, you can very often not see the screens because you're right at the back of the hall. So it's quite handy. There. But if you click this X, it'll close that. So this video is to show you that you can quite happily run both of these applications at the same time. You can still use, continue to use Soundbox for the features that the JW Library app doesn't support yet, such as the timing of the screen, timing of the talks, recording the meeting, and also um, displaying any images. Because at the moment, the JW Library app can only play videos. That's it. And obviously the songs are videos, so it can play those as well. But if there's any images, like this midweek meeting, for instance, there's quite a few images of the photodrama and the WBBR radio and all that type of thing. Soundbox will be able to play those images, but this is where we come across a problem. So if I said Soundbox to use Display 2, it now takes over display two and I can show an image. As you can see on my camera feed, it is now showing that image. Great. But now look, if I want to play a video in JW library, if I say, let's play this, the video of the Russian trial, it's not displaying on, 12, on display 2. It's playing the video, the but it's not displaying on display 2. On appeal of the criminal let's close case that. Of so if you go back to Soundbox and say that display is none, it's not gone back to the JW Library black screen that we had before. It's nothing, it's, it's nothing displayed. And if we go back to JW Library, if we go back to the screen here and click settings, that option is still there. So there's a little bit of an issue here. If anything takes over the screen whilst JW Library is using it, JW Library just hands it back. It gives it up. And the only way of you getting the JW Library app back to using that second screen is to turn this setting off and then back on again. And there it is. It still wants to play the video. You can also and you say close the app and open it again. That's one way of doing it. But that's a bit awkward during the meeting. So for the time being, you may choose to not use the JW Library app as it's quite a hassle to switch between the two. But once the JW Library app is able to display images, what you could do, they will appear here and you can play the videos, that's fine. We'll go back to the camera feed, you'll see it's playing that video. And then continue to use Soundbox to do everything else. But until that time, you may decide to not use JW Library app or to close it and open it again when you want to play a video. It's not the best. It's a bit clunky, but it will get you used to using the library. But this video is purely to show you that they will work side by side, but it's a little bit awkward. I need to mention one thing about the JW Library app second screen option. It doesn't give you the option of what display to choose. It just says play video on second display. It's not actually the number two display. If we go to the any blank part of the desktop here and right click and go to display settings, you'll see my, my three displays here. Now this at the hall could be your main sound desk computer. This could be the screens or the projector at the front of the hall. And this could be your back wall timer screen. JW Library will always use the screen to the right of your main screen in this settings box. So if I turn that option off in JW Library, move these two screens around,
apply that setting and open JW library again and in the settings turn that feature back on you'll now see if you go back to my camera feed you'll now see that it's using this screen because go back to my screen that is to the right of our main screen you can move these around to your heart's content so if I put the two one back there again and click apply and then open JW library app again you'll see on the camera feed it's using that one again so it's purely it works it out by the screen to the right of your main screen now obviously that will be different if your main screen is over here but what it does in this instance is it loops round so it'll just it'll it's still to the right if you like it loops round to the first screen on the left whatever that happens to be so let's apply that open JW library app and show you at the moment it's display 2 because it's looping round to display 2 if I close the JW library app move number 3 to the left now so we've got 3 2 1 set up 1 is still my main computer screen if I now open JW library app you'll see on the camera feed it's using display 3 again just to prove to you that it's always to the right and if it isn't isn't any to the right it'll loop around to the other side so that's how it determines so if you've got your screen set up in some weird way like this it's a bit inconsistent and it's not always obvious which screen it's going to use so just be careful be aware of that and I would recommend having the screens horizontally displayed in this window anyway that way you know where you are I can understand why some brothers have got it set up vertically or whatever because that's how it physically is to their eye when they're sitting at the sound desk but it's not like you're ever going to be moving the mouse or a window over to those screens so it doesn't really matter so I would recommend having them horizontally set out like this then at least you know which screen JW library app will be using but your mileage may vary as long as you know which screen the JW library app is going to use then it's fine to have them however you want and you just know which screen it's going to use so that's it for this video just to show you that how JW library app will work and how it can work with soundbox at the same time if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments below uh, please like and subscribe and share this video if you know anyone that could help be helped from it um, if you need help with Soundbox, continue to use the help desk, please. I will help you in the comments if you need to, but it's, it's better if you open a ticket in the help desk if you've got an actual problem, which you can get to by opening options on Soundbox itself and clicking help desk. If you've got any questions about JW Library, we can't help you, I'm afraid, uh, because that's not us that maintains it. That's the, uh, the brothers in the branch. To get help with that, go to jw.org go down the page click help under quick links here and you'll scroll down the page and you'll see there's a section for JW library and you can get support here for whichever version you're using so it still says Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8 it's actually for Windows 10 now only it won't work on Windows 8 but if you click that it gives you some help on how to use it there's lots of uh, tutorials actually it's very good it should should answer any of your questions but if you've got a problem it goes right down to the bottom of the page and it says how do I report a problem or make a suggestion and it says to click here on the online feedback form which you can do fill that in and tell them what your problem is but it's not the same as the support you get from Soundbox, so don't expect an immediate reply. But they are quite good if you've got a problem, they will get back to you. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.